So now that we've gone over what set points are, we're going to go over how to change your cooling and heating set points. And the easiest way to do that is from the home screen, go ahead and press the OK button to get into the menu. Then go ahead and select option number one, which is current set points. And now from here, you're going to go ahead and select option number one, which is your temp set point. And on here, you can press uh, button number four on the user interface to change the time period that you want to adjust your cooling and heating set points for. So right now I'm on the day period, so I'm on my day set point, which is set from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. But if I wanted to switch it to the night, I would go ahead and hit number four for switch period, and then I can choose between my day or scroll down to my night set point and hit OK, and they'll change, and now you can see that the temperature range has changed as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it for the day, so we'll go set it back to the day set point. And now we're back on our day range of 75 to 78 degrees. Now the two temperatures are known as the heat set point and the cool set point, and you can change them by going down to the bottom here. You can see number five says set heat set point, and number six is set cool set point. So if I set my heat set point, and it'll bring up this menu here, and by default you can use the scroll wheel to move in increments of 0.1 degrees, but let's say you want to move it by a larger increment. You can hit button number one, and now you can see we're moving in increments of one degree. And say I wanted to move it by a larger amount, I could go ahead and go up to 10 degrees, and now I can move down to 60, 50, back up to 70. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's say we leave it at 70, and I'll go ahead and hit OK. And you can just keep scrolling through, just hitting the one button, and you can see the menu will change to 0.1 degree, 1 degree, or 10 degrees. So we'll go ahead and hit OK because I'll, I'll set it at 70 for my heat. So now what we've told the controller is that if the temperature falls below 70 degrees, then we want the heating equipment to come on. If it goes above 78 degrees, then I want my cooling equipment to come on. So nothing will, so the idea being that we can keep it in that range of 70 to 78 degrees. Now, when you're done setting all of this up and you've got your set points set, your day and your night set points are in place, you can go ahead and just hit the home button. Go ahead and say save changes. And they'll say, notice current week has been readjusted by the user setting. You go ahead and say OK because we did it intentionally. And now it's changed. And so now we can actually see that my day set point has indeed changed from 70 to 78 degrees. And I'm currently reading 75.6. So I'm within the normal temperature range. So none of my equipment is going to be running. And that's basically all there is to it. With a few simple taps, you can go in and change your set points to something that uh, is better accustomed for your growing environment.